All right, in this video, we're briefly going to talk about the anatomy of the ultrasound machine. We'll talk about what the main data uh, are that we get off of the machine and what buttons and things that you'll push to get it. Uh, I really want to just emphasize that this machine is very sensitive and uh, very expensive. Uh, the, the probes themselves, just these little probes off to the side, each of these are somewhere between five and eight thousand dollars a piece. So please don't drop them, don't run over the cords, make sure they don't get caught in, in any machine like the knee extension machine. And, and then if you're curious, the, the machine itself, like the laptop top portion of this, is about thirty thousand to forty thousand dollars itself, right? So don't be reckless with it. Be very careful, treat it as if you're uh, moving something that's made out of glass and very fragile and it's going to break because it really is. Okay, It's not made to be beat up and abused. So in the ultrasound, in order for you to understand the main buttons that we push, I first want you to understand what data we get out of it. This is the image. You might have seen this if you've been in the lab before. This is the, what the, the screen typically looks like when we're imaging. Um, the, the main thing that we're getting, we, we're getting two pieces of data that are most important. First is the picture, right? And then the second is the blood velocity. So the picture is comes from this, the probe sending out sound waves in a pattern called B mode or brightness mode. So B mode gives you the picture. And so sound waves are leaving that a little ultrasound probe, going through the skin, reflecting off of the muscle, the artery, and the blood, and coming back to the probe at a different frequency. And from that, the machine can derive what it looks like deep inside. The physics is way beyond my understanding. Uh, it just works. Okay. Now the second mode that we get, actually, first with that B mode, things that we do with this that are more more important are the diameter. We'll get the diameter of the artery. See how big it is. As you can imagine, big arteries have can accommodate bigger flow. And so we use the, the diameter to figure out how big the artery is, or the brightness mode. The second mode that we typically use is pulse wave mode or Doppler mode. And what's going on here is the, the probe is sending out sound waves that are reflecting off of the red blood cells and coming back to the probe at a different speed and frequency than when they went out. From that, with a Doppler shift, we can tell how fast the blood is moving. And so as the blood is moving, you get a pulse, the heart contracts, and the pulse of blood shoots down, and between heartbeats, it slows down, another heartbeat comes, and the pulse goes down, or the pulse comes. Uh, if we were to measure blood pressure during this, this would be your systolic blood pressure time point, and that down there is your diastolic blood pressure time point, right? So from these, with the, with the image and the, the, the blood velocity from the pulse wave mode, we can get a lot of information about how fast blood is flowing. Uh, so in order for these to go, you, the probe is sending out two different sets of sound waves. Uh, the B mode sound waves and the pulse wave sound waves or the Doppler sound waves. Now, a third set of sound waves can be sent out sometimes uh, to get the color. Uh, you can see this, that it's highlighted red over here. Uh, we don't get a lot of data from that. That just helps us visualize where the artery is. It, and it just tells you where movement is occurring. So if it's flashing red the, and you're on blood, typically the blood is moving forward. If it flashes blue, typically the blood is moving backwards. Uh, we just use it to, to identify sometimes where the arteries are. Okay. Now, if you get to the machine and you look at it, here's the different stuff you have going on. You have the probes. Uh, those are what send out the sound waves. Then you have button on there for brightness mode. You would push that to turn on the picture. You have a button for Doppler mode. You'd push that button uh, to get the pulse wave. And then you have some sensitivity toggles where you can spin that little thing and it will make the picture brighter or lighter. It makes it more or less sensitive to the movement or to the image. You have these local sensitivity sliders where you can slide them over to make one section of the image darker or lighter. 
And then you have these toggles up here that spin and you can push in and they do just about everything in terms of moving the, the angle and all of that of the, the ultrasound. We'll get into more detail about these as we go. But that should suffice it for now. You now have a basic understanding of what the ultrasound machine is. And more importantly, you know that you need to be very, very careful with it. All right, thank you. And we will end that for now.